Partha here from Channel Buzz. We're in conversation with uh, Basil Ayas, who's the marketing director in the Middle East for Dell. And we're here for the launch of the Power Edge Vertex. Is that how you said that? Yes. It's, it looks very like much like an Alienware CPU, because I'm a gamer at the end of the day. It looks really good. There's a lot of customization options. Uh, but I'll allow Basil to tell us exactly what this product is, Basil. So, great points you make. It looks like a PC, mm -hmm. but this is much, much more powerful. We, we say this is a data center in a box. So what it is, in fact, is that it looks like a PC, it requires normal electricity, you put it under your desk, it makes not a lot of noise, but it gives you the power of four servers. So this is one of the server units. Okay. You pull it out, and you can see that in this very small space, you have two CPUs. Okay. And you have expandability of memory up to 792 gigabytes of memory. On a single server? Immense amount of memory on a single server with two CPUs. Mm -hmm. And on a hard disk perspective, on the server itself, we have two hard disks, so these are two and a half inch disks. Oh. And we can have SATA, SAS, or SSD, so it doesn't matter what kind of technology you Excellent. prefer. But other than the hard disks, this unit here, the Vertex, it can handle four servers. And not only four servers, but up to 25 external hard disks as well. Additional hard drives. So additional to the two on the server, you can get up to 25 hard disks. Wow. So that's uh, a lot of storage. That is a lot of storage. Because it also comes in in another version, instead of 25, two and a half inch disk, we have 12 three and a half inch disks. Okay. And the three and a half inch disks today, we can offer them as four terabytes each. So you can get 12 times four terabytes, 48 terabytes of storage. And this is in additional addition to the storage already on the server. And this is in addition to the storage on the server, of course. Great. And the servers, they're only two and a half uh, inch, or you, there's yeah, a three so and a half inch as well? Yeah, the servers only come in two and a half inch. These are really meant for, uh, you know, just boot, to boot up Windows mm -hmm. or to boot up uh, virtualization from VMware. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have USB on the front, a power a button, and uh, uh, we have SSD that can be used. So we have, uh, sorry, we have a SD card that's on inside of the server that fits in this slot here that can be used you know SD1 and SD2 if you can see that uh, as your camera focuses because it's so small so we can put SD cards in here wow. up to 64 gigs each as well oh so you have a lot of configurability you can choose one gig or ten gig mm -hmm. network so if your network is a bit slower or faster it depends on what your network is used very much configurable. And this one box that looks like a CPU, like you mentioned, yeah. from Alienware, can fit four of these servers. Wow. So each of the servers has two CPUs. They can have eight core CPUs. So that's 16 cores in each server. Can you pick what CPUs go in there? So what's the baseline? So you can, it's a Xeon-based solution. So we have, the, we have two types of servers, the M520 and the M620. The M620, okay. That works on a Xeon E5 2600 series. Okay. And the M520 works on a Xeon E5 2400 series. So you decide what kind of CPU you want, and we offer you that. Okay. As long as it's Intel and it's E5. Great. So that's the most, the latest generation of CPUs from the Intel side. Uh, okay. Perspective. Um, so that's about the product. Now I'm very curious to know, uh, since you've launched today, and uh, you also mentioned something that on Friday when you launched it in uh, the US, you actually got an award for this. Yeah, so IT Pro, the day we launched it, they were so impressed. We, we got the, uh, the innovation award of the year from okay. IT Pro. Okay. Uh, why? Because we've combined server, storage, networking, and all under one box and managed by one piece of software. So this is like a full data center in a box. And you look, Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> uh, you can look at the inside. You know, we have these, these are the fans to do all the cooling. So it's so very powerful. We put a lot of fans because we have fans here to cool the servers and the hard disks. Mm -hmm. And if you come around this end, we also have much bigger fans here. 
and these fans are all redundant, so they have two fans inside of them, and mm -hmm. we have four of them to cool this thing. So we have a lot of fans to keep it quiet, so they don't have to spin so fast and make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. So you don't need a special room to house this. If you're a small and medium business, you know, uh, you can go up to 500 employees, you don't need a special room, you can put it on, under your desk and it will be your data center. No need for cables, no need for complexity, all in one box, neatly that fits together. And this is as close to plug and play as it gets. So this is, yeah, you can call this plug and play data center in a box solution. It has one DVD ROM, so that okay. DVD ROM can be used to install the software on the four servers. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we make it very easy for you to manage it. So we have a QRL, so a quick resource uh, locator. So, you know, an administrator will use his smartphone, take a picture of that, mm -hmm. and he'll be automatically transported to our <coughs> website where he gets all the technical information, all the manuals, all the user guides, all the self-help uh, documentation on the web. Excellent. It comes with an LCD screen, so it's very easy to diagnose if something is wrong. You can automatically find out from the LCD mm -hmm. what's wrong, and it has a small, you know, joystick, so you can uh, configure it quickly and find Great. out what's going Great. on. But of course, you can plug in a USB keyboard and mouse and just yeah. So it has a right KVM through. as well. So here's your KVM, your monitor, your USB keyboard and mouse, and that's KVM mm -hmm. keyboard video monitor can be used on any of the four servers. So you can switch it from this server to that server to that one and to that one. Great. All right. Now I'm very curious to know. How are you going to reach this out to your audience? So what we're doing is, uh, today we're launching it to the press, uh, and we will continue to focus on it with our existing resellers and partners and distributors. So uh, as it's become available on June 25, 2013, so just in a few weeks, mm -hmm. uh, we will make it available and we are looking to stock it in the Middle East as well. All so right. any, any small and medium business, any enterprise with remote offices or branch offices that needs it, uh, we understand that these requirements can come up fairly quickly mm -hmm. and you need it quick. So we'll have a bit of these in stock mm -hmm. uh, where the configuration will have to be predetermined uh, by us. But clearly these are not off the shelf. So these are not off the shelf. That's why I'm saying we'll put a few in stock, but we will have to configure them because right. we don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll configure them to the most required and used uh, configurations in the market. Mm -hmm. But clearly these are made to be you work with one of our partners, our partners need to come up to speed, do the training, understand the product, so we can work with the customer, configure something to match his requirements. Today. Okay. And okay. you can see that it scales, right? It, you can start with one server and scale to four servers. You right. can start with one hard disk and scale to 25 hard disk. Yeah, and the network switch on the back as well, you know, it gives you eight ports and you can start with one gig Ethernet and if mm -hmm. you want in the future as you expand you can move it to 10 gig Ethernet. Okay. Uh, what about support and how, how do you address that? So as soon as it's made available we'll be selling it with pro support which is the Dell after sales support, technical support. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, you have options, one, two, three years and for that duration, you also have an option on response time. Four hour response time for the critical customers that are using it for, to host their critical applications and next business day. So you can get a three year next business day contract, you get a local telephone number in the UAE, and if you're based in the other GCC region, we have local numbers there as well. You call them 24 hours a day, any time of the day. We will help diagnose your problem and solve it over the phone. If that's not possible, then depending on your contract, either within four hours or next business day, you will have an engineer visit you on your site, in your house, in your company, wherever you're running Vertex, uh, and help diagnose and fix the problem there with spare parts. Uh, what about uh, training the IT managers within the company who are actually buying the solution? So that's one of the key selling points of Vertex because we don't believe it requires any specific training. It's so easy to use. We've put software in here called the CMC, so Chassis Management Center. Uh, that software enables you from one GUI, so it's a graphical user interface, it's a mouse, you just click around, it helps you manage the whole thing. So really it does not require any specific training, it's built for SMBs, it's built for generalists to use, very easy to use. So you don't need to have an IT degree to basically use this and install this. Yeah, you don't need a PhD, let's say that, or a specific <laughs> certification. Uh, you just need a bit of IT background so you know, uh, you know how to configure a server, mm -hmm. how to configure the storage, how to configure the networking. Right. So if you use any other technology out there, open technology, mm -hmm. it's very easy to use 
uh, Vertex because we've made it as simple as possible to manage. Uh, what about software and hardware support? Uh, so it's based on an open standard, Intel servers. Uh, it runs anything that uh, that is running on on an open standard. So mm -hmm. we have it currently certified with Windows 2008 and 2012. Mm -hmm. We also have certifications around Linux, SUSE, and Red Hat, and uh, it also comes uh, with VMware and Hyper-V certification. So if you're running virtualization, any uh, flavor, you, recent flavor of Windows, or any flavor of virtualization that's out there, we can run it on Vertex. Great. Uh, what about hardware? Hardware. Uh, is so the hardware, the servers are all based on Intel CPUs, okay. uh, x86 CPUs, and mm -hmm. the disks have to come from Dell, but we support SAS, SSD, and SATA, and we support 3.5 and 2.5 and, uh, and and inch uh, disk. Great. Thank you very much for speaking to us. I think that's all the information we need at the moment. If we need anything else, we'll be in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you very much.